Hi, so the next lesson, lesson seven in the mini form is step forward and deflect down. So um, let's start just by opening the body and then we'll do that lesson. So feet parallel and we're going to stretch up. So we don't often really stretch the fingers as far as we can in Tai Chi, but it's really nice. A bit like how our animals stretch. So stretch your fingers right up and then when you stretch fully up, open your jaw. So it's a nice stretch for the whole body and then let the arms softly relax down, relax down, relax down. Let the head hang and nice and slowly begin to roll forward. Let your head hang, shake your head yes and no. Let it relax, let the shoulders relax and feel the stretch up the back of your legs. Mm, just let everything relax down and then we're going to slowly roll back up feeling like we're coming up vertebrae by vertebrae when you get roll up the shoulders we always get everything oh, pull the shoulders back we make a few circles one way with the shoulders and the other way Okay, so just a little warm up before we do. So we'll do the mini form to that posture and then we'll work on it. So feet parallel, shoulder width. So we sit down and the hands come to rest on cushions of air. Allow them to softly float up. Pull the elbows in and the hands softly float down. So we're going to bring the weight into the right foot as we make a ball with the right hand on top. Step onto the heel of the left foot and let the left hand float your heart as the right hand sinks down and the foot comes round. Turn the waist to the right, keeping the left hand in front of the heart. Turn back to the left. Sink the left hand down, bring the right hand up as far as your heart. Turn to the right, sliding the left foot back towards the right and we turn to the front. So we turn left again and the right hand floats down. Turn to the right as the arms open up. Fold the left hand over. Step forward with the left, push with the right. Sink into the left foot, peeling up the back foot. Sink back into the right foot as we turn to the right and pick up the left foot and we turn back to the centre. Play guitar, bringing the left foot down on the heel. Turn to the right again and the arms open up. Step out with the left as we brush past the left knee and sink forward. So now today's posture, we're going to sit back into the right foot, turning on the heel of the left to the corner and the hands float down to the sides of the body. As you bring your weight into your left foot, the hands come up in front of your heart and we pick up the right foot. We step it to the corner and as you're sinking in, the right fist comes to the hip. So I'm going to show you facing this way and then we'll do it a few times. So we have the feet in a bow stance and the weights on the left foot. So as you sit back into the right foot, turn the left foot to the corner on the heel and then bring the weight into the left foot. When the weight's fully in the left foot, we pick up the right foot and we step to the corner with the right and then we bring the weight into the right foot. So I'm going to do this with my back to you so you could copy me and get the feeling of the footwork. So weights on the left and we're looking straight ahead. So as we sit into the right foot, we turn on the heel of the left to the corner and then bring your weight into your left foot and when it's fully in the left foot, pick up the right foot and step it to the other corner, see it's in line, my heel is in line with the toes of the right foot and about my foot length in front and then I sit into the right foot. So it's a, actually quite a nice exercise for the feet, so let's do that a few times for the legs and the feet. So we're in the left foot. So as you're sitting back into your right foot, turn your left foot on the heel and you're turning the whole body to the corner. Sink into your left foot and then pick up the right foot and turn it to the other corner and sink into the right foot. And when you finish, feel your weight in your right leg and you'll feel like you're kind of locked into that right leg. Okay, so let's do three more. So the weight's in the left leg. So we're gonna sit back into the right leg and turn on the heel of the left to the corner. Bring the weight into the left leg and when it's fully in the left leg, pick up the right leg step it to the other corner and sink the weight into the right leg and you'll feel as you sink into that right leg you'll feel like the left leg gets a bit more stuck into the ground 
So one last time. Weight in the left. Sit back into the right and bring the left foot round on the heel. Sink the weight into the left foot. Pick up the right foot. Step to the corner and sink into the right foot. Okay, so now what the hands are doing, so maybe you can copy me from behind. We're in, we've just done brush, left knee and push. So as we sit back into the back foot, the hands come down to the sides of the body. And as we sink into the left foot, the hands come up and the right hand makes a fist. Left hand looks at it. We pick up the right foot, put it down. And as you bring your weight into your right foot, the right hand sinks down to the hip. So I'm going to show you that there's a, bit, there's a lot going on with the arms. So weight into the left foot. So we sit back and the hands sink down to the side of the body. So now as you're sinking into the left foot, make a fist with the right hand and the hands come up. So the right fist fits into the left tiger's mouth like that. That's where it's just passing through, but that's what it's going to do. As it comes up, you get this and then it pulls to the hip. Okay, so let's do that. Let's do that facing this way. So we're in the left foot. We've just done brush left knee and push. So we sit back, turning to the left. Now, as you're coming into that left foot, make a fist with the right hand and pick up your right foot, put the foot down, and then the right hand comes to the hip. The left hand ends up in front of your body like this. So I do two more facing this way and then I'll turn my back to you so you can just kind of stick with me and copy. So weight on the left and we sit back and the right hand floats down to the side of the body. So now the two hands start coming forward parallel to each other and the right hand has a fist. We step with the right foot and as we're sinking into the right foot, the right fist comes to the hip. The left hand just stays up here in front of the body. So one last one facing this way. In the left leg, sit back into the right leg as we turn the whole body to the corner of the heel of the left. As we sink forward, we have a fist with the right hand. The hands come up in front of the body. The right foot comes down and we pull the fist to the hip as the right hand reaches forward. So from behind, we're in the left. So we sit back into the right foot, turning on the heel of the left. Make it sink into the left foot, picking up the right. Right hand has a fist. We put the foot down and pull the fist to the hip as you sink into the right foot. So let's do that one more time from here. So weight in the left, sit back into the right foot, turning on the heel of the left. Sink into the left foot, make a fist with the right, pick up the right foot, bring the fist to the hip as you sink into the right leg. So let's do one mini form there and uh, enjoy. So we sink and let the hands come to rest on cushions there. Allow the arms to float up and float down. Bring the weight into the right foot as we make a ball. Step onto the heel of the left, ward off with the left, bring the right foot round. Turn the waist to the right, back to the left and the left hand floats down as the right hand comes to the heart. Turn to the right, sliding the left foot back and turn to the front. And we turn left again and float the right hand down. Turn right and open up. Step out with the left, brush past the knee and push. Left, turn right, play guitar. We turn to the right again and open up. Fold the left hand over, step out with the left and push with the right. Now today, sit back, turning on the heel of the left to the corner. The hands float down to the sides of the body. Sink into the left foot. Step forward with the right as you make the fist with the right hand and bring the fist to the hip as we sink into the right foot. Step forward and deflect. Okay, so that's lesson seven. So see you for lesson eight. Bye for now.